Hey guys, Def Medic here. So today I wanted to talk about uh, personal ordnance drops and exactly how they interact with the game in Halo 4. Not necessarily how to use them, but exactly how you earn them and the, the effects they have. So we all know what it sounds like when you get one. Ordnance ready. So when I initially started playing the game, I thought they were kill streaks, so based on how many kills you get, but it's actually how many points you get. So we're going to count up and see how many it gets. So right there is 30 with uh, 15 for the first strike and 15 for that headshot. And I get 10 for this grenade kill on the ghost here. So that puts us up at, let's see, 40. Uh, run out here, see if I can get the kill. Uh, I don't quite get it, but someone else cleans them up, so I get 5 for that assist. So we're at 45. Uh, someone chases me around the corner here. 10 there, so now we're at 55. So we're going to pop out here. And uh, we find one more guy, get 10 for the headshot, and now, now we're at 65. Uh, I start to take a little bit of heat. We got that guy there, and somebody jumped down behind me, so I, I get out of there. I don't quite get the kill on that guy, and when I come up here, I end up getting picked off. And now you can see my progress on the left side for that ordnance drop hasn't reset, and it actually persists through the death. So I get another 30 points here for the revenge and the headshot, which puts us at 95. And then when I get 10 for that assist, it puts me over 100, which gives me the ordnance drop. And as you saw in the, the previous set of circumstances, I did die as I was trying to progress towards that ordnance drop. But it didn't actually hinder the progress. Uh, once I respawned, I was able to just continue with the points. And this means that even if you're not getting killing sprees, you're eventually you're going to get those ordnance drops and it's going to help out. I chase this guy over the lift here, and I end up dying after I've gotten the ordnance drop. And you can see that even after I die, I can go ahead and continue to deploy that whenever I choose to. Uh, so basically, you can use them at your own discretion, and it gives you options as to what you want to use. So depending on the circumstance, you might want the overshield, which is on the right side. In fact, all the armor abilities will be on the right side. Then you have a choice between either the two guns, or possibly it'll give you an option for a grenades on that left side. So if you're actually choosing to take somebody else's ordnance drop, let's say it's an enemy or a teammate, there's actually a loading bar that, or it's a progress bar when you're trying to pick up that drop and it prevents you from grabbing it right away. So say a teammate drops it, you can't just go ahead and snatch his ordnance drop. The uh, same goes for an enemy. If he drops an ordnance drop, it's going to take you a little bit and actually in order to get it. And you can see I'm actually having some trouble picking this up because this is the first, the first time I encountered it and it ends up... It gets me killed in the end here. This is something that's funny that happened. Uh, one of the default ordnance drops here dropped. It says it's an incineration cannon, but when I went over to pick it up, it wasn't actually an incineration cannon. Um, and there's been plenty of fail in this video, so I thought I might include a little clip where I actually seem to do something right. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Ordnance ready. Request confirmed. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you learned something. If you've got any comments, go ahead and leave them below, and maybe I'll see you guys out there.